Should you buy the DJI Mini 3 or the DJI Mini 3 Pro? In this video, I'm gonna let you know which one is the better of the two and which one I chose, which is in this case. So let's find out what's the same and what's different about these two drones. It's gonna put that over here for now. So let's talk about what's the same in these two drones to start off with. So they're both pretty much the same size and weight. They both weigh 249 grams. So while these drones do look very similar, they are extremely different on the inside. Starting with the most important aspect of a drone and that is the camera and what it can record in. On the Mini 3 Pro, you can record in 4K up to 60 frames a second, as well as 2.7K up to 60 frames a second. You also have the ability to record in full HD up to 60 frames a second and also slow motion at 120 frames a second. Now on the Mini 3 you can still record in 4K but only up to 30 frames a second and you don't have any slow motion recording. Now when it comes to those recording rates that's all well and good if you don't want any slow motion recording on the Mini 3 but there is something really important to take note of. The DJI Mini 3 Pro records in 150 megabits a second while the Mini 3 only records in 100 megabits bits a second. Now that doesn't sound like much of a difference but what this actually means is the Mini 3 Pro is capturing more data and more information in your video file than the Mini 3. Shooting with a higher bit rate is going to make your videos look that little bit nicer, a little bit crisper and a little bit nicer to edit with. Now when it comes to these two drones with photography there is a massive difference between the Mini 3 and the Mini 3 Pro. The Mini 3 Pro can do 48 megapixel stills while the Mini 3 can only do 12 megapixel stills. Now don't write off the Mini 3 just yet because 12 megapixels is actually bigger than 4K. So you can still get some amazing results just with a 12 megapixel camera. There are a few more differences though. On the Mini 3 Pro, you're able to do horizontal panoramas and vertical panoramas and capture five bracketed photos. Whereas on the Mini 3, you can do horizontal panoramas, but you cannot do vertical panoramas and you can only capture three bracketed photos. Another massive difference between these two drones is the Max ISO. Now on the Mini 3 Pro, you can go up to 6400 on your ISO, whereas on the Mini 3, you can only go up to 3200. Now basically what that means is on the Mini 3 Pro, you are getting double the amount of ISO you can use. So that's gonna be essential if you wanna shoot sunrises and sunsets or even shoot at night. You're gonna get so much more capability out of the Mini 3 Pro than the Mini if you're wanting to shoot in low light situations. Now there's one thing on the Mini 3 that I was really surprised that DJI did not include in this drone. And that's the ability to not be able to do any focus tracking. So there's no point of interest, there's no active track, there's no spotlight modes, no master shots, and also no hyperlapses. So that's a pretty big deal. If you're thinking that you can just buy the cheaper version of this drone and be able to have all the features, you are wrong because DJI have stripped all of those out of the Mini 3. Another thing that's been stripped out of the DJI Mini 3 is there are no obstacle avoidance sensors. Whereas on the Mini 3 Pro, you have all your obstacle avoidance sensors there. So this is a pretty big deal also, because if you are a beginner, and most beginners are gonna be coming in at this price point, because if you hit the return to home function, the drone is gonna likely crash into something if you haven't set your altitude properly. It's just not gonna know if there's anything in front of it or around it, if it needs to return home remotely. One thing that's actually better on the Mini 3 than the Mini 3 Pro is the flight time. Now this is due to obviously the Mini 3 not having all those extra features. So on the Mini 3 Pro with a normal battery, you'll get 34 minutes. With the plus battery, you'll get 47 minutes of flight time. Whereas on the Mini 3 with a normal battery, you'll get 38 minutes of flight time. And with the plus battery, you'll get 51 minutes of flight time. Now for two drones that pretty much look identical, you can see how different these two drones really are. That's why I decided to buy the Mini 3 Pro. Now for me, this was a no brainer because I wanted the best quality video that I could get. So the 150 megabits sold me and also the 4K at 60. You are not paying much for this drone anyway. It's 200 bucks more than the mini version. 
pay the extra 200 bucks and get all the features, the obstacle avoidance so you don't crash it, it's worth the extra 200 bucks. I absolutely love this drone and I love the fact that it is so small and so compact. The shots that you can get out of this thing is absolutely breathtaking. So if you need a drone or if you're a beginner wanting your first drone, I would definitely suggest getting the Mini 3 Pro. Do not get the Mini, get the Mini 3 Pro. It is worth the upgrade. All the extra benefits you get with stepping up to the Pro version is definitely worth the extra dollars. And that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Hooroo.